Back to Spoonsville, and we're gonna be covering the half of it. Yeah. Uh, found on Netflix. Came out in twenty twenty. So during COVID, I guess. But it's not a COVID movie. But it came out during COVID. Overall, I liked it. But let's get into why I hesitated. <laughs> it, it's a cool premise. I like the premise. So how did you feel about the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I did like it. It was it was a cool idea, right? This love triangle thing in a, in a traditional small town, but then the love triangle is between a girl who has a crush on the, the other girl, and then the guy who, and then and then the 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 the, the, the Esther, the the, uh, the 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 one that is being sought after, uh, at first isn't aware of either of them really. She got this boyfriend, kind of adult, you know, but, but popular, but popular, and and uh, I guess sometimes people get thrown into that. And Esther gets basically thrown into that relationship. The guy yeah. who's with the guy because she's kind of pretty. a Steve Holt type. She's pretty. And that's why they're dating. Yeah. The Esther's boyfriend is has is moneyed. Mm -hmm. She he comes from a well moneyed. Yeah. Highly moneyed. A wealthy family and and so people at school are like, oh, you know, she's so lucky that she's pretty. Because then she gets to date this guy. I remember in the bathroom, some of the girls talk about how, mm -hmm. oh, you know, she if something like, I don't, I didn't really catch it, but it seemed to reference her being poor. And so she's lucky that she's dating yeah. this guy because, yeah. yeah. Dating up. She's dating up, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. You know what I liked about this movie is that it kind of points out the flaw, I think, in a lot of those high school movies. It always confused me watching them, is you have the main character. They got to do some kind of thing to trick or to, they have to mask who they actually are, and then they win over the person that they have a crush on. And then a lot of times that's how it ends. But you're like, well, they're eventually going to find out that's not who you are. It always kind of seems silly to me. So those kind of premises, I'd always reject it. Reject the premise of those kind of movies, because you're like, okay, well, that's Why didn't uh, you reject it this time? Well, because it's not actually, it's showing that that's not going to work. That you can pretend, and then you can actually convince someone to go on a date with you, and then it's like, oh, what next? Now that you've tricked the person, now they're going to find out that you're not that kind of person. Yeah. And it's not going to work. So I did like that. It was interesting. I like how it started off with the, the Greek myth of people used to be a whole and then it got split off. Maybe I can't remember. Probably Zeus did it. Zeus is always screwing with humans. Yeah. You know, he's a pretty vengeful god. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty uh, lascivious. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I like how it started off with that. And then that's kind of their way of saying, you know, and then it uh, explains how people have this need to find your hole again, you know? Yeah. Um, but then that could mean not necessarily whether it's man or woman or woman and woman because the main character is lesbian. So she's attracted to Esther. And then, uh, you know, how is that going to work in kind of a conservative town? And Esther, again, so that I think that's where we felt that we couldn't quite buy. I, I, I generally felt that the characters were, were, were quite good, quite real. The father, the main character... Esther seemed a bit kind of fan fantasy a little bit because um, for someone that is willing to put up with just going along with being around these people that would bore her, yet she seems to be so good at painting and so drawn to her, you know, creative side. And then and uh, the main character who is a deeper f person who feels deeply and thinks deeply just didn't seem kind of make sense. Yeah, you know? and that's the issue I really yeah. had with the movie because the whole the two holes are Ellie and Esther. Yeah. But Esther doesn't make sense whatsoever. Yeah. I don't I didn't feel that there was chemistry between Ellie and Esther. That you are still supposed to feel happier that at the end Ellie kisses Esther and shows her feelings, but I'm kinda like, well, what's so great about Esther? Why do you even care? The movie touched on a lot of important things like uh, homosexuality and small towns religion as well as ex Im immigrant experiences yeah. like yeah. Ellie gets bullied because of her name yeah. that's unique right yeah. and um, she's ostracized mm -hmm. she doesn't because of that but um, they didn't really come together yeah. even the church the religious aspect of the movie didn't really we, we didn't really need it 
Right. We honestly, because what was it? They never really integrated it into the movie so right. much. Right. But there would be little. I remember Paul says to when he finds out that Ellie is um, uh, a lesbian, he's like, "But you're gonna go to hell." Right. So you get little things like that, yeah. and I'm like, "Okay, I mean, come on." Yeah. Uh, this wasn't really enough. Yeah. And and I'm like, okay, so what was the point of the church yeah. thing the whole time? Them going to yeah. church. It, it, he, I felt like Paul is someone who'd be like, oh, whoa, oh, this is weird. Yeah. That's that it. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it kind of felt like they had to be like, remember, these people feel this way about that stuff. I And I was really irritated with the dad, the dad as much as I was, of course, sympathetic to yeah. grief. At, at some point, you can't let but, your daughter take on everything. Yeah. And then some. Exactly. That's yeah. just, you know, help her out. Yeah. Because she also is grieving the loss of her mom. Mm -hmm. And... And so Paul, when she, when the dad ends up speaking in Mandarin, it's because Paul says something like, you know, you don't really see your daughter. You don't mm -hmm. actually see her. Yeah. And so then he starts expressing himself in Mandarin, understanding where Paul was coming from, realizing the burden that he's placed on her, and, and then just expressing herself in the language that he's most comfortable with. The moment was nice because um, Paul allowed it to happen because he's a sweet guy. Not the kind of guy who says things like you're going to hell if you're a lesbian. Mm. He's the kind of guy who will listen to someone who's clearly expressing pain in a language that he doesn't understand, but is mature enough to recognize that that's happening. And that is a momentous event mm. that he needs to play out and not say something like, well, I don't understand, Mr. Chu. Mm -hmm. What you say? That relationship, I think, the relationship between Ellie and the dad was very much, much better developed. Mm. Relationship between Ellie and her dad, relationship between Paul and Ellie, those relationships, there was much more chemistry there. Mm -hmm. That is why for me, I do not feel, I, I just feel like they should have had Ellie end up with Paul. I understand mm -hmm. that. Or, or, or just develop it better with Esther. Or develop it better. Because I get that yeah. the whole point is that it's not just the breaking up into and finding your whole. It can be a woman and a woman. That's the idea, right? It's exactly. not. Exactly. But then make it work more with Esther. So yeah, I think for me, I really was liking it. The first two the thirds time. of the movie, yeah. We were happy yeah. the whole movie. Yeah. And then Until... it just kind of starts the last few scenes. Um, it starts to kind of get a little more dramatic, a little more kind of over the top movie like when everyone's objecting in, in the church and things like that. Um, that that kind of like lost me a little bit. Um, and, and I uh, feel like they had to do that. Uh, the theatrics were necessary because things were so wrapped up. Hmm. If they had developed the relationship between Esther and and Ellie, or or not even, yeah, I guess maybe the relationship between Esther and Ellie in the sense of maybe giving um, interaction between these two people more screen time, as much screen time as they've given to Paul, and also if they if they if they had stretched out um, as Esther's um, character more, hmm. so that we could actually be endeared to her. Yeah. I wasn't just endeared to her because yeah. she's a preacher's daughter and she's poor and she's forced to be in a relationship with this guy who's handsome and she's just so low because she has to do this because she's pretty. Give me some juice. Yeah. Okay, so she likes some art. I don't really see her as someone who likes those kinds of things. Yeah. I don't even really imagine that someone who is that deep, as deep as Ellie yeah. Chu, would actually find herself in a situation yeah. like that. Yeah. So she would just not be able to put up with, with that. that guy. Exactly. The guy that she ends up dating. She didn't really there feel like a person. Yeah, she didn't feel like a person whatsoever. Yeah. The theatrics, I think, were there because they just really need... They just quickly wrapped things up. Yeah. Um, because even the relationship between Esther... When Esther and, and Ellie discover... Well, Ellie... Esther finally just realizes, I guess, that she likes Ellie. Um... It just happens so quickly. It's like yeah. there isn't anything at, that makes me feel it's like, like the two halves found each yeah, other. Yeah. There's nothing. That was another thing for me is they kind of ruined the best relationship in the movie, which exactly. is Paul and Ellie. Because then at the end, again, it's one of those where like, I'm not sure if you're trying to add a character flaw here or if it's just kind of the writing is muddled up. Because then at the end, it's trying to be really sweet and saying goodbye to Paul because she's going on a train, going off to school. But instead of it being like a nice Harry Potter train ending where it yeah. just hits you right in the feels, she's kind she's of like, being like, like not unable to be sweet. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, we'll see you're crying. You're being all, oh, we'll see, yeah. you know. And she says it like three or four times. She says it when she's on the train. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, where maybe, is this coming where's this from? Coming from? I thought, this person? I thought you were so deep and emotional and, and intellectual and all this stuff. And like, okay, again, like I said, like, I, I try to sometimes 
accept that, you know, because sometimes people are too quick to be like, that's not her character. Like, oh, that's bad writing because it doesn't feel like that person. And sometimes people can be very mature in some instances. And then when it comes to other things, they can have a total lack of being able to be vulnerable with this other person. It happens, but you just feel like it's the end of the movie. It's starting to become a pretty theatrical movie. So just let it have a bit of a dramatic ending, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of like, okay, well, now I'm kind of annoyed at you. And now the movie's ending is supposed to be happy for you. But I'm like, you're kind of being rude to Paul, who's really been kind of like the yeah pretty, you know. Completely. Yeah. It didn't work. Didn't leave with the... <sighs> yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was going well. Yeah, it was great. And then it just wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm just looking at what else I wrote. Hmm. See. Hmm. Yeah, I yeah. did not see anything in yeah. Esther that merited the kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Adoration. Not like a not like a Heath Ledger from Ten Things I Hate About You. You know, you're like that. Per that character's interesting. He's yeah. Playing with fire and he's, she he's, just wasn't. Yeah. yeah. She just wasn't interesting at all. Yeah. Esther feels like a picture. Yeah. That was just plastered yeah. in scenes. You like the cardboard that yeah. someone was carrying around. Yeah. Just throw that. Yeah. <laughs> throw that in there. It does. It does. That was very disappointing because I think. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. We don't know how much time. Oh, oh, the light. I didn't. I wasn't endeared to that that yeah. ending. So that was a huge loss. Yeah. Obviously, especially because there isn't a lot of representation. Yeah. In movies. Um. Uh, with regard to homosexuality. Yeah. And so I feel like, come do on, it right. do it right yeah. if you're going to do it. So, yeah. 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 yeah they should have, they should have focused on that more. Cause at the end, I'm kind of like, I'm thinking when she's like, okay, well, I'm, you know, I'll see you in a couple of years. I'm like, yeah, don't even bother. You can do way better than Esther. Exactly. She's boring. I think everyone should be a painter. Everyone should paint on their spare time. Everyone should do, have a creative outlet. Absolutely. Um, but she was seemed like not someone who genuinely is about art for art's sake. And, and Van Gogh, and you just have to paint furiously because it's about just creating. It's the raw process of creating. She didn't seem like that to me. It just seemed like, well, I just want to add to my social capital that when I go to art school, I can, I can you know, it's yeah. one more thing to add to my attractiveness level. That is what I was getting from Esther. Yeah, Ellie Chu, I liked her a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the actress. Uh, yeah. yeah, I liked I her a lot. Character. Yeah, yeah, I liked her, the actress, and the character. Yeah. I liked it, but it could have been so much. It could have been so much better. It was so good. Yeah. Until the end, yeah. until that, yeah, uh, yeah, the way they wrapped it up was so bad. Yeah, the last three or four scenes just, yeah, kind of. So I was really upset because I was loving it the whole time. Like a six or six point five. A six. Yeah. I a six. Yeah. Only because they they had a good thing going yeah. until the yeah. end, and it could have been a great movie. Yeah. So I guess if you're giving it a 6.5, what is 6. that? A 6.25? 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6.25 out of 10 yeah. uh, ripe tomatoes. Yep. But yeah. yeah. What did you guys think? Let us know. Let us know. Do we suck? Down below. Do we have <laughs> Should we reevaluate? Our lives? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Bye. Bye. Uh, I think the light's okay.